and welcome to this edition of Beijing Insight. I'm Gu Wei with Xinhua News Agency. During the ongoing 14th meeting of the Conference of the Contracting Parties to the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands in Wuhan, China, and Geneva, Switzerland, China promised to build an international mangrove center in Shenzhen. Shenzhen is famous for many things, but the natural environment might not be the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of this cosmopolitan metropolis. As one of China's earliest special economic zones, it is a paragon of opening up and development, and a global center for technology, research, manufacturing, and business. So why, you may wonder, has Shenzhen been chosen to showcase mangrove conservation efforts? Today, we're very glad to have two experts who are both at the meeting in Geneva to give us some insights into that question. They are Ms. Sun Li Li, founder and honorary board chair at Mangrove Foundation. We also have Mr. Lei Guangchun, board chair of Mangrove Foundation. He's also a professor of ecology and nature conservation at Beijing Forestry University. Hello, Ms. Sun and Mr. Lei. Welcome to our program. Hi. Hello, Gu Wei. Before we start, let's take a look and examine why mangroves matter and how China is taking measures to protect and restore these unique natural habitats. Don't be fooled by their modest appearance. Mangroves play a crucial role in some of today's most significant challenges. They provide a defense between land and sea, absorb carbon, contribute to economic and food security, and are home to rare and colorful species. However, it has been estimated that some 8,600 square kilometers of mangrove forest disappeared over the past three decades. If those mangroves were a city, they would be larger than Tokyo. Among the measures China has taken to protect and restore mangroves in recent years is the establishment of 52 mangrove nature reserves. Such efforts are closely linked to it being among the few countries registering a net increase in mangrove forest cover. Welcome back. Why was Shenzhen picked for this International Mangrove Center? And in your opinion, what are Shenzhen's advantages here? Shenzhen, is China's innovative center. 也是候鸟的国际迁徙通道。每年冬天有十万只以上的候鸟在深圳湾停歇。深圳人热爱红树林，这里栖息了大量珍贵的野生动物，特别是珍稀鸟类。过去两年，深圳通过非常艰苦的污染治理和环境政治工程，修复了十二公顷的红树林，又新造林近十三公顷，相当于三十二个足球场。深圳还设立了十五个湿地公园。目前，深圳是全国乃至全球湿地污染密度最高的城市之一。另外，深圳还有大批志愿者参与红树林和野生动物的保护工作。And what could this center do for mangrove protection and restoration, Mr. Lei? It provides not only for the livelihood of local communities, but also one of the most important blue carbon ecosystems.、Uh, provide、uh, the ecosystem services for the Fishes for the migratory water birds for the all other kinds of organisms. It laid out the fundamental importance and the fundamental mechanism to safeguard mangrove forest and the ecosystem services. Thank you so much. China has cut its carbon emission intensity by 34.4 percent over the past 10 years, and pledged to peak carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. Accordingly, the International Mangrove Center in Shenzhen serves as yet another milestone in China's pursuit of harmonious coexistence between humanity and nature. One of the key features of Chinese modernization, a concept highlighted in the report to the 20th CPC National Congress. And that's all for this episode of Beijing Insight. Thank you for being with us. Until next time, goodbye.